Well, this is certainly an odd device, isn't it? Well, as you can tell, it must come from China, since it's got the uh, characters right there. I don't know what language this is offhand. I'm not much of a character expert. If anybody would like to fill me on in on that, that would be great. I'm assuming it's Chinese. I'm not too, too sure. It could be something else. I just don't know. <clears throat> Now, as you can tell, it is a fire alarm, because it says fire at the top, right here. I guess that's legitimate. I think that's fire in Chinese. I'm not too sure. If anybody would like to fill me in on that, that'd be awesome. Now, as you can tell, it does look a lot like a Spectre Alert. Let me pull a real Spectre Alert to the left right here. As you can see, you got strobes on the bottom. You got the horn right here. And you got this design right here, the uh, the grill. Just a bunch of lines going across. I don't know if that's like anything too original. And you got your English fire marking on the top. Now, there's a few similar differences as well. There's on the Spectre Alert. There's fire lettering on the sides, as you can see right here. However, on the Chinese device, there is no fire lettering on the sides. Right there. Let's take a look at the device, shall we? Alright, so let's flip it over to the back. Okay, so there's not really too much interesting things going on back here. This is a screw, but that doesn't really do anything remotely spectacular other than open up the alarm itself. Easy to service, I guess. Alright, so what these do, these little covers here, they pop off. They reveal some terminals right there. I'll <clears throat> bring the device closer so you can see it. Okay, let me zoom in. Now as you can see, DC 24 volts, you got an S1, S2. I have no idea which either of them do. So I guess it's going to be like a 50-50 chance or something. Now this is your tone selection switch. Again, I have no idea which any of this stuff does. So, hopefully you can get a better look at that. Okay, so here's the back. Now, how this device mounts, you got this mounting kit right here. It's part of it. Now, interestingly enough, this mounts to a horizontal American back box. Uh, I don't have one on me right now, but I've tried it before and it fits. You just got to put the box horizontally. You just mount the screws into these holes right here. So basically what you do, you just stick the back box, this onto the back box per se. This is facing up. And what you do is stick the device on. Now let's just assume this is on the wall or something. You put screws into these two screw holes here and it's secure to the wall. So let me just take that out away and there you go there's not too much more else to it that I could think of now the moment of truth how exactly does this alarm perform what does it sound like well here's the fun part we're gonna test it so without further ado I got the uh, whatever is s1 wired it's gonna be powered up that's all I know so it's a 50-50 chance. It could be the horn, it could be the strobe. So, three, two, one. Ah, nothing. Okay, now I got the uh, the wires onto the 24 volt DC one. And if you've been watching this video, it's this one right here, these two. Now I got these wired up correctly. These are a little bit ambiguous. Alright, so without further ado, let's test whatever's on the 24 volts DC circuit. Three, two, one.
that's very loud. I will tell you that. Now, excuse the tape on the device, but it is a little bit late at night I'm filming this video. But what I wanted to show you more is, you know, the strobe itself, do the lights off part of the test. Now, you might have noticed the strobe is not very bright at all. I'd say it's a lot dimmer than the older Wheelock WST series or whatever's on the 7002T series. Yeah, you, you get the idea. So basically, let's switch on the power. That's enough of that. You get the idea. Even turning off the lights, it does not help. I will say that. Now to activate this thing with the pole station, I will be using the Firelight BG-10L. Why not? I haven't used the thing in a while, and I don't have any European pole stations. Not yet, anyways. And plus, I don't know what they use in China, so this is the best I could do. Why not? And like I said, I have not used the BG-10 in a while. So, without further ado, let's pull it. That's extremely loud, folks. That's all I got to say. And uh, you kind of get the idea by now. It makes that wailing noise. So I hope you enjoyed my video of this Specter Alert knockoff thing. I don't know really what to call it, but in some ways, I guess it's pretty cool. It makes some pretty cool noises. Uh, so yeah, I don't have too much else to say about it other than, you know, it doesn't have a very high candela strobe, so. Anyway, some of you have wanted to see this alarm, and hopefully I brought this alarm to you the best way as I can. I'm sorry, you know, I kind of cut the blasting short, but it's a little bit late at night I'm filming this, so there you go. So anyways... I hope you enjoyed the test, and that'll be it.